Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Um, before we start, if you want to join me on my live stream, I'm streaming a back, my backup channel called Good Free Photos. I also have another channel called Crypto Daily Update. All the days great crypto news in one place. So check that out. Those are both in the description and in the comments. And also, please join me on Twitter. Um, you know, YouTube's coming really hard down on crypto channels. So if there's anything ever happens to that channel, you'll know about it on Twitter. And getting enough Twitter followers and retweets can possibly get them to notice and get the channel back. So please follow me on Twitter. All right. Now that we got that taken care of, we're going to talk about the actual topic, which is blockchain gaming. It's actually exploded during the stay at home order. And it could be things like Engine or Forte, which actually has to do with XRP, um, or Player, which, but I don't really think Player is going to do much because they really haven't had that much news in a very, very long time. But, you know, like blockchain gaming has actually exploded huge. Um, that thing, those are things like maybe like Mana, um, Engine, like I explained, and there's a couple of new games actually coming out as well. And this is going to be a pretty big boon for crypto because we know how much money, like stuff like World of Warcraft or, um, you know, EverQuest back in the day, League of Legends now, and other online games actually move. And these blockchain games aren't just a game, they're a whole immersive world. And unlike the other games, and this might run into regulatory trouble sometime, they actually support this econo the economy that's actually built into the game. So the token does actually act as money. And the token is money because you can just sell the token for money if you actually make a lot of the token. I think this will have a definitely an additional layer of interest because people can actually make money while playing the game, selling property or some, something like that. It could actually turn into a business for many to actually just play the game, do it very well, you know, like do these land deals and actually uh, make money in the game. Because, you know, back in the days when you could actually farm Diablo items or farm WoW items, like that actually became a pretty good market and a game that's completely built on top of a system with its own currency that actually supports that and turns it into real money could be something extra large. I'm not really sure how that would work for tax implications and I'm not really going to guess, but I'm going to guess when you cash out, that's basically when you actually pay. So it's going to be quite good. I mean, I think it's going to be great. Um, this game explosion thing and the cryptos that can really take advantage of this, I think will actually be pretty big. I think there will be several winners. There's not going to be like one coin token overall, unless it's like ERC 20 or something that becomes a standard or something like that. But I don't think there's going to be one token that powers all games, obviously like, you know, League of Legends uses riot points. Wow. Uses wild gold. So I think, I think there'll be several like economies built upon these, um, these tokens. And that really depends on how many big games there actually are. Now, Mana and Decentraland, I think, is like the first one out of the market. Their graphics really kind of suck, and it, and I think they need to improve that. They also, like, kind of freeze my browser when I try to use it sometimes. So I don't think, like, that's the way to go right now. If they manage to improve their stuff, or maybe if they actually manage to put it into an app or something, not just browser-based, which actually would make it run a lot more efficiently, I actually believe they could be pretty big. So Mana and Decentraland is actually something to actually really keep track of in this day and age because i do believe that they could actually be really big in the future that's mana and decentraland and also engine obviously is powering a lot of things partnering with samsung they could actually build games on top of that and i think some developers already are and they're already partnered with unity as well and i think like the covid 19 stay at home order has really brought this out i mean it's it's definitely brought this out um and what i mean is like by bring what i mean by bringing this out is like it's actually increased the audience significantly. We know that like people stay home, they play games. There's more games being played in this COVID-19 crisis because people can't go outside. So they're actually just stuck at home playing these games. And the games have actually grown quite large in my opinion. Uh, some of them have grown quite large. Like I know my settlers, uh, I play settlers of Catan. There's no, I mean, that's not built on cryptocurrency, but I play a lot of settlers and the number of players during the COVID-19 Thing has basically just ballooned into something really, really big. So big that their servers couldn't handle it for two weeks. Thank God they actually took care of that issue. But once again, like just this like uh, boom in players temporarily, I think will people people will actually get interested in blockchain gaming because it actually endorses an economy based on the game that you can actually make real life money out of. And I think that adds a huge new layer of interest to the game. There'll be like players that aren't interested in like video games otherwise that are actually very interested in video games now because they can actually make good video games. Uh, they can actually make good money off these video games. So I think this is like a really big booming industry. I think like uh, 
um, games that are eventually built on blockchain will overtake games that are not built on blockchain because of this additional layer that actually endorses like an economy within the game. And I think that could definitely be the future of gaming, blockchain gaming, because you can build all the features you want into a regular game, but you're just building on top of an economic layer that will attract many, many more people. So like whichever coin builds like the next big game or the first big game, um, with this kind of model and gets through all the regulatory clarity, I think will actually be really, uh, will actually be the game, uh, the coin that actually opens up a broad, big new market and other people will actually build largely on top of them. So my guess is like in the next three or four years, you're gonna see a really big blockchain game and a lot of people are gonna play it. You have the hardcore gamers and then you have the people that aren't really gamers that will play it, but the people that really like want to make money off of it and actually just go around finding ways to actually actually like um, have the best economy in the game so it can sell the items for money and that's really something that like a lot of these other games don't really have i mean wow had it but like because of regulations they had to discourage it but i think like if the economy is actually contained within the game you can actually just sell the tokens for money like they're gonna have to get around some regulatory hurdles obviously but if they actually do and i think like they eventually will get around regulatory hurdles, whether through lobbying or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, when they actually do that, this will be a huge explosion in gaming and it'll add like different players that were never interested before because they would want to play a game to figure out the macro economy of the game and to make money. So that's my analysis of it. I think like blockchain gaming could be the future and I think it will be the future in a few years. We just haven't seen a compelling game and man is not going to do it because you know, the graphics suck and it's not really that compelled to play it. But if they improve on the game, they could definitely be the one. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button and please join me on Twitter. Thank you and have a nice day.